Did AOTech just release a SmartThings hub without Z-Wave? Yep. And if your home is packed with Z-Wave gear like mine, you may want to stick around for the gory details. AOTech reports the new SmartThings Home Hub 2 packs double the performance of their former V3 and drops in Matter, Thread, Zigbee 3.0, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. It supports local-first automation, so many routines may run even if your internet is down. But it's missing something critical, a Z-Wave radio. There's one curious detail in the new hub announcement, that the hub is equipped with a USB-A port labeled No Function Yet. Some speculate that AOTech may plan to add Z-Wave in the future via a dongle. It's technically possible, and AOTech does sell Z-Wave sticks, but no official word says they'll enable this. So for now, it's just a mystery port. The Hub 2 is expected to be available in Q4 of 2025 with North American availability starting around October 30th through AOTech, Samsung, and select retailers. Meanwhile, the old V3 Hub, your Z-Wave Lifeline, has just wrapped up its final production run. AOTech has announced plans to discontinue its V3 Hub by the end of 2026, but says there's plenty of stock available for the next couple of years. So yeah, AOTech Hub 2 drops a Z-Wave. If your smart home leans heavily on it, you've got tough decisions ahead. Option one, stick with AOTech's V3 Hub, which is still Z-Wave ready, and it may be worth grabbing an extra unit now as a fallback if your current one fails. Option two, run a separate gateway like AOTech's Z-Stick with Home Assistant or similar, then bridge into smart things, or option three, Wait and see if AOTech activates Z-Wave via that USB port down the road. But I would not hold your breath for that option. This isn't just random. SmartThings is clearly pivoting hard towards Matter, Thread, and Zigbee. Z-Wave isn't dead, but it's definitely losing its spotlight in the SmartThings ecosystem. So yeah, Hub 2, no Z-Wave. And with V3 being phased out in a couple of years, you might want to snag a spare while you still can. What will you do? Stick with V3, run a gateway, or just wait on that USB-A? Drop your move in the comments below.